हे हॅलो गाईस वेलकम टू लर्न इटर्निटी अ प्लॅटफॉर्म टू लर्न एनीथिंग एनी टाईम इन दिस ट्युटोरियल वी आर गोईंग टू लर्न हाव टू गेट स्टार्टेड वर्किंग विथ द बूट स्ट्रॅप सो इन ऑर्डर टू वर्किंग विथ द बूट स्ट्रॅप यू मस्ट हॅव अँड अ कोड एडिटर ऑर अ टेक्स्ट एडिटर दॅट इज प्रेफरेबल इन ऑर्डर टू वर्क विथ द बूट स्ट्रॅप ओके सो आय हॅव अन a sublime free as a code editor i'm using so depending on your requirement you can use any code editor so if you want uh, to down want it to download the sublime uh, code editor so just go ahead and search for sublime text 3 and download okay so in the first link just go ahead and click on the first link and here you can see depending on your operating system version you can download and install sublime text okay so why i'm using the sublime text is just because um, if you just i have just created this uh, small bootstrap file so it is easier to work with the bootstrap or html document in a sublime text 3 because the, this is code editor which uh, highlight the code depending on its uh, attribute depending on its, on its class depending on its html tag okay so uh, you come to know now uh, whether the center tag is closed or not and div tag is closed or not so this is a pretty much a well text editor or a code editor that can be used in order to work with a bootstrap okay so let me close this document okay so in order to work uh, with the bootstrap and get started with the bootstrap uh, you have a uh, two options so either you can uh, download the bootstrap and directly work and configure on your project to work with the bootstrap and or a second option you have is uh, use a cdn so what do you mean by cdn cdn is a content delivery network so you just have a uh, links that will be provided by the cdn uh, distributed server and using that server uh, links we can or uh, use that bootstrap links in order to work with the bootstrap so instead of downloading the bootstrap file from the uh, uh, from the uh, bootstrap website and use it locally we can refer to the bootstrap cdn which is available uh, available on the internet and work on them so uh, the better way of using the bootstrap is uh, of course a cdn way Uh, let me uh, s- uh, tell you an example why you should use a cdn okay so you, if you have a godaddy server which is situated on america and you are accessing from uh, mumbai then it will take a longer time in order to fetch that uh, and work with the bootstrap uh, file okay so instead of using that you can use a cdn way uh, which will go ahead and grab the file of the cdn from the distributed uh, nearest server okay so this is why you you should use the cdn okay so this is a small example i have just wanted to tell you uh, so let me uh, go ahead and start with the first example of how we can configure the bootstrap locally okay so in order to uh, configure the bootstrap locally just go ahead to the bootstrap website just go ahead and type bootstrap and the they they have a official website called as bootstrap.com just click on that okay once you click on that and just click on this getting started link and then scroll down and you have here a bootstrap and the download option so just go ahead and, and click on this download bootstrap button okay so depending on your uh, internet speed this uh, will download so just go ahead and open that folder up once you download just go ahead and extract that file so if you go ahead and uh, get into it you will find this they have a css folder which consists of all the file related to the css they have a js folder which consists of all the file which is related to javascript 
and they have also a phone that is basic font available in a bootstrap okay so in order to configure this uh, in a local environment i'm just going and creating a simple project so let me create a simple new folder and name it as bootstrap project okay so once you go ahead and click that folder let me just uh, move this folder just copy this folder inside that folder that i have created the project that i have created okay so just paste it over here and once you paste this in this folder over here you have to create one html document in order to work with the bootstrap so just i'm just opening this folder inside the sublime text so i'm just dragging and dropping this folder inside sublime so it will go ahead and open that folder up so i'm just creating a new html document so just go ahead and click a new file and just save this file as index.html okay, just click on save so once you click on save you just have to create a small html template so in sublime you have you just have to uh, type a exclamation mark and hit tab in order to get a simple html file document type okay so that's it um, i have created a small html template let me change this uh, title to bootstrap tutorial okay so once you do that there are some couple of things that you have to add in order to work with the bootstrap so the first thing you have to add is again a meta tag sorry so the let me control z so the meta tag and inside the meta tag you have to type the attribute as name which will be a viewport let me explain you once i write this code so the content will be a width width is equal to device dash width and the initial scale will be equal to one so what do you mean by this meta tag uh, so in order to work with the mobile uh, responsiveness and bootstrap you have to add this meta tag uh, in order to ensure whether the uh, rendering and touch zooming of these uh, element is working or not so just include this meta inside your document so what do you mean by this uh, content so the width will be adjusted according to the device width and the initial scale is just for making sure uh, uh, it is a part of a zoom level uh, when the page is first loaded into the browser okay so this is what you have to do uh, the, the next thing you just have to include is that you have to link this CSS file, this uh, JavaScript file in order to work with the bootstrap. So I'm just linking the CSS file. Let me link this. So in order to link the CSS file, you already must know uh, in order to link the CSS file, you just have to write link relation is equal to style sheet and type is equal to text slash CSS. In HREF, you just have to uh, provide the path of the file so uh, let me provide the css slash put strap dot min dot css so there can be uh, will be available a two file bootstrap dot css and bootstrap dot main dot css so the main dot css is a minified version of bootstrap so if you are using uh, a file then you can use a minify version or you can use a bootstrap.css depending on your requirement so let me uh, include the javascript for, file for the for the bootstrap so let me include that one so the source will be a uh, js slash bootstrap 
dot min dot js so it is a good practice to include the script tag at the bottom of the body so let me include this over here okay so and the next thing i just wanted to include is a jquery file so why you should use and include a jquery file is because the bootstrap javascript file needed a jquery file in order to work with okay so in order to work with the bootstrap.mean.javascript file you have to uh, in, include the uh, jquery file so in order to include the jquery file you just have to google the jquery okay so once you uh, click on that jquery file so just download this jquery So once you click on that you will be having this compressed or on compressed version depending on your requirement so i'm using this complex production version so this file will get downloaded so just open that folder up i'm just cutting this file let me cut and paste this file into my javascript folder over here okay so let me just copy this name and include that inside my file okay so once you do that all thing is set up locally uh, in order to check whether the bootstrap is integrated in or not i'm just creating a small div with a class of container which is a predefined class inside a bootstrap okay so i'm just creating a class a div with a class of container and inside that container i'm just creating a small button so don't uh, confuse with this code i will explain everything in the next tutorial and uh, it will be uh, easier for you so i'm just checking here whether the bootstrap is loading into your folder into your project or not so once i do that just let me go to my project folder and let me open this index file so as you can see we have that button over here let me change the text okay now I have changed the text of this button to submit let me save the file and go ahead and refresh so as you can see I created this button and assign a class of a bootstrap what is a btn btn primary and it can attach with this okay so now you know that uh, bootstrap.mean.css is successfully attached with your project so this is a local environment how you can attach the file locally in order to work with the bootstrap so the next thing i just wanted to tell you is how you can use a cdn version in order to work with the bootstrap okay so let me um, remove this uh, local reference of the files okay and in order to work with the cdn you just have to go to the google and search for a bootstrap cdn okay once you click on that just quick start bootstrap cdn max cdn just click on that and you will get here the css file that is the bootstrap.main.css just copy that uh, link and just go ahead and refer that link to here okay once you do that you just have to include the javascript file for the bootstrap so i'm just including the script tag and src will be a, a link of the bootstrap.main.css cdn okay so, so let me copy this and paste it over here so in order to work with the bootstrap.main.css javascript you have to include the jquery file so let me go to the google and search for 
jQuery CDN. So if you click on this first link jQuery CDN, let me go ahead and click on this uncompressed version. And if you see here, they have this code available. So you just copy that code and paste it over here. Okay. So you have linked this uh, Bootstrap CDN file, Bootstrap JavaScript CDN file, and jQuery CDN inside your document. Okay. So just go ahead and refresh the document. So as you can see, there is no effect to the document. You have successfully included the CDN files inside your Bootstrap page. Okay. So if you just go ahead and delete this CSS font in JS file and just keep this index and dot HTML file, then that's fine for you. Okay. So this is how you integrate a, a locally bootstrap and you can integrate a CDN version of bootstrap and this is a basic template that we are going to use in every future videos okay so that's it about the bootstrap and getting started with the bootstrap in the next tutorial we are going to learn uh, some basic structure some basic uh, classes or a grid system that can be worked with in a bootstrap so that's it for this tutorial hope you understand everything if you have any doubts feel free to comment below please like this video and subscribe to our channel to stay tuned till then see ya